What's up guys? I hope you're all having a good day so far. So in this video, I'm just going to go over everything to do with Q School and try and explain it as best as I can. Who's won tour cards, who hasn't, who's in the UK Open. So I'm going to go through everything, try and explain it as best as I can. And yeah, so Q School has been a really, really fun week. I've been streaming it all. So if any of you guys have been watching the streams, then leave me a little comment in the comment section below to let me know that you are watching this video, even though you don't need to because you know everything that's gone on. So that'd be amazing if you do. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we are nearly at 30,000 subscribers. We are getting very, very close. So if you want to subscribe, and you like my sorts of videos and you want to support a creator in the darts community then why don't you support me it's really 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 helpful and yeah it's free as well it costs you nothing so q school let's go over q school so basically there were four days of q school there's actually like 10 days of q school but we'll say there's four days of q school stage two q school and uh, basically every single day the winner gets a tour card and uh, there's a point system that builds up over the course of the week so there was one q school who was which was in uh, the uk and one which was in the rest of the world is actually in germany so let's have a look at who won what so if we go so if we go on to the next page we can see that the q school finalist stage here for the uk was was this so basically the winners of the day got tour cards and then they didn't have to play in the rest of the days and then there's an order of merit that built up over the course of four days. So day one winner was Kirk Shepard. Day two winner was Jason Heaver. Day three winner was Jake Jones. And day four winner was Scott Mitchell. They all won their tour cards uh, on the specific day and they're all tour card holders. Now after that, we have 13 tour card holders who have won via an order of merit which is basically a build up of points over the course of four four days those who didn't get the qualification on the on the on the actual days but just built built up enough points to to get a tour card those were jack main got nine points andrew gilding finished on nine points as well martin lukeman on eight points louis williams on eight points eddie lovely on eight points alan Souter, who i am predicting now is going to be a big big player in the next year he got seven points. Joe Mernon, six points. Gordon Mathers, Pete Hudson, uh, John Wardsley, all on six points. And then there were a few five-point qualifiers as well. Brett Clayden, John Brown, and Danny Baggish. Very, very happy. Danny Baggish did the business on the last day as well. He had zero points going into today's day, and he managed to get to the final. And it was extremely impressive that he managed to do what he said he was going to do. And yeah, I feel really bad here for Chaz Barstow. He's had a really, really good week. And he just missed out in the in the final, basically. Missed out in the final um, of the last game. And he didn't get a tour card. But after that, there will be eight players who get to go in the UK Open. So because the UK Open is not... Uh, there's, there's usually Riley's qualifiers because there's not going to be that this time. Uh, then there's eight players who get to go into the UK Open. So the eight players we have got who are going to be entered into the UK Open first round in a couple of weeks is Chaz Barstow. Uh, Gavin Carlin, Martin Thomas, Kevin McDyne, Jim McEwen, Shane McGurk, Matt Jackson, and Sean Fisher are going to be the eight players. Is that eight? I'm pretty sure that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Sean Fisher. Sorry, I'm doing this with no cuts, so ignore that. Uh, as long as Sean Fisher can play, because he actually had to pull out today because he had a really high temperature, which is very, very unfortunate. But EUQ School, some more tour card holders. So we had Gert DeVos won day two, Gert Nengers won day three, Florian Hempel won day four, and Boris Koltsov won today on day five. Uh, day four, day four, today, whatever today is, day four. After that, the Q School Order of Merit winners were Martin Schindler, who hit a nine data today, I think. All my days are literally just merged one into the other now. Uh, Martin Schindler hit a nine data against Barney. I'm pretty sure it was today. Uh, he finished on 10 points, as well as Niels Donneveld finished on 10 points. Raymond Van Barneveld is making a comeback to the PDC. He won on nine points, qualified today. Uh, he, he actually played very, very well the whole week. I'm, I was very impressed by Barney. Uh, Zoran Lurchbacker finished on eight points as well. Uh, Adam Gavlas played well again today, finished on seven points, qualified today. He's a definitely one to watch for the year. Michael Unterbuckner on seven points, John Michael on seven points, and Rob Star, the YouTuber, Robert Marianovic, which is cool to see some more YouTubers on the tour, which is great. Robert, Robert Marianovic got tours. 
Uh, talk cards. Very, very unlucky today. Rusty Jake Rodriguez and Ralby Jake Rodriguez, both one round away from tour cards, which, well, actually, Ralby was two, but Rusty was one round away from getting a tour card, which really sucked, and he could definitely could have done it. Uh, Luck Peters as well. He had a really, really, really good week, but didn't get a tour card. So, UK Open Qualifiers is going to be, obviously, everyone who has a tour card, which is everyone who I've mentioned. Plus, Rusty Jake Rodriguez is going to be in the first round of the UK Open. Uh, Luck Peters, uh, Rowie John Rodriguez, Lorenzo Pronk, who also had a very good week, was very impressive in stages. Uh, Gino Voss, Michael Rastovitz, Ryan DeVried, and Kevin Doitz. Those are going to be the eight players. Let me just double check that that is the eight players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kevin Doitz at the cutoff. Lucas Wenig, very unlucky not to get in as well. He was very good this weekend, and so was Richard uh, Venstra. And there were loads of players who unfortunately did not get tour cards and did not get UK Open spots. Very, very unfortunate. But guys, that is today's video. Hope you did enjoy it. Uh, if you do want to find out more about Q School or the UK Open, or you want me to stream the UK Open or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. It's completely free to do so, and it costs you nothing, and it helps me out loads. So if you enjoy these sorts of things, then go for it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one.